Hey, it's Aurelius. As digital marketers, we are on a constant lookout for the latest tools, apps, and gadgets that will grow our business or our company. And for that, in this video, you'll learn five digital marketing tools that you probably didn't know about. So let's get started. Timestamps, links, and resources that I mentioned in this video, I'll link up in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, so the first tool is from our sponsor, Pixelme. Pixelme is not only a URL shortener, but it also enables you to retarget visitors who actually clicked on that link. So you can retarget target them on Google or Facebook, Amazon, YouTube, or other websites or social media sites where a pixel is available. For digital marketers, this is a powerful tool because you don't want to waste any of the traffic that you drive to your website, especially if you are going to pay for that traffic. So let me give you a quick summary and show you the back end of Pixelme. What you do is basically create a link first, enter the destination URL. This is where the landing page is or where you want your traffic to go to. So for this demo, I want visitors to go to my newsletter page. So this is the goal. And what I'm going to do next is enter the destination URL. And so what I'm going to do now is choose the branded domain or you can add a custom domain. Under retargeting pixels, this is where you go ahead and add all your pixel IDs such as Facebook and you can also add any other pixels. So what you do is you click on add pixel ID. So let's say I'm calling mine YouTube. Now this will then take you to the pixel additions here. So add new pixel and you can choose from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and all these other uh, sites where you can grab your pixel ID, add your pixel ID, and then that'll then be available in your account where you want to create a new link. So basically you'll add all the pixel IDs and the sites where you wanna retarget your visitors who click on your pixel me link, which we'll get to next. After that, we've got UTM's perimeters. So you can add all your UTM's right here, folders and tags. So you can organize it by folders and tags as well, but let's go ahead and create the link. Once you've added your link, you'll be given this shortened link. You can copy this or copy the QR code as well. You've got stats as well, but let's click on the copy link. And then after that, you share your shortened link wherever you want. And after that, when it comes time to create your ad or retargeting ad, you create a new audience. So I'm in Facebook ads and you create the custom audience, which I've already done. Once you've gathered enough traffic or visitors, that's when you can go ahead and create a new ad. Here's a demonstration. I wanna boost this particular post and under audience, you can choose the custom audience that you just created. Since I just created that audience group, or that custom audience, it's not available here since I haven't dri driven any traffic to it yet, but you can see, and you'll find it under audience right here. And once you've submitted your ad for approval, that will then start hand target or retarget more like it, those visitors who actually clicked that Pixelme link. Pixelme will not only allow you to shorten your links, but you'll also be able to retarget those visitors who click on those links. So you don't waste any of that hard earned traffic that you got or paid for. So to check out Pixelme, look in the description below for a link directly to Pixelme. The next digital marketing tool that you probably didn't know about is none other than Canva, but don't close this window just yet. <laughs> There's actually a hidden tool that you probably didn't know about and let's get to it. So the particular hidden tool that I'm talking about is Canva's Graph Maker. If you don't know what Canva is, basically it's a web-based design tool where you can create pretty much anything and you don't need to install anything on your computer. But with Canva's Graph Maker, you'll be able to make all sorts of graphs such as line graphs, pie charts, and even mind maps. So simply go to canva.com forward slash graphs and you'll see this graph maker, enter your graph title, I'll call this social media stats. So if you're doing some type of research or you're preparing a keynote, then this graph maker will be handy. So let's say social media stats, I'll create my graph now. And then it says, do you need help choosing the right graph type for your project? I'll just choose, I know what graph I need. And from here you can choose from a vast variety of graphs, such as bar graphs, bubble uh, maps, we've got pie charts, organizational charts, line graphs, and all these other diagrams. Let's just choose a mind map from here. So right here, it's called mind map. And from here, we are going to choose a template that we like. I like this one here, so I'll click that. Now, that'll open a canvas with the template pre-inserted. And this is where you can go ahead and edit the template right away. So they've already inserted the main title of the graph, social media stats, and then I can edit anything else I wish. So we've got the parent here and then the, the ch children of the parent. So let's say we've got uh, Facebook as one of the stats and then let's say, you know, 
billions of users. I'm not sure of the exact stat for the active users of Facebook, but this is where you can go ahead, add all those details and data into your mind map. Once you're done, just click download and then save it as one of the file types right here. With pie chart specifically, you're able to adjust the data and the percentages. So let's click, uh, double click that, and then that'll open up all the information. So we've got swimwear 20%, tops 10%, so on and so forth. And then as you go ahead and adjust this, that'll then adjust it to the actual pie chart graph right here. So powerful tool made by Canva, check that out, link in the description below. Next digital marketing tool that's going to help you in terms of organizing all your research, planning and links and resources that you perhaps uh, gather up is Notion's Web Clipper. Notion is a project management system, but as you use it more and more, you'll find more uses of Notion. It's such a powerful tool and I use it every day. More specifically, there's Notion's Web Clipper, which they created and developed and sits right at the top here. What it does is if you find a useful video, article, or blog post online and you wanna save it, what you'll do is click on Notion Web Clipper at the top and then from here, add a title or use the default. And then from here, choose a book or workspace to add it to. So I've got my reading and favorites uh, workspace. And also what you'll do is click on save page. I'm gonna click on save page and now it's added. Now I'll head back to my Notion app. Inside my reading and favorites, that's where the web clip is then inserted. So you'll see all my other clips that I've added. Scrolling down, you'll see the clip that I just added. And what I'll do now is categorize it under whatever category it is most suited for. So I'll choose article for this or more like a tool. Since this is Notion's web clipper, choose a category. So let's say this is a productivity tool. For my reference, I know what this is and I can go to this one page where I can find all the most helpful resources that I've found online. Everything is also linked. We've got the link here. And if I actually open that, that'll open up in a new browser. You'll see that I've also saved articles. So if I open this up in particular, that'll open up the article. So actually imports the article. You can read it all within Notion. I followed a video tutorial from Notion showing me how to create this table and this look. If you're interested in that, I'll also link the specific video in the description below. There are other tools that can do this such as Pocket, but since I use Notion to send centralize all my notes and projects. I like to sync everything into one central location. Next digital marketing tool that you probably didn't know about is Think With Google. Think With Google is a great place to find customer insights since Google aggregates quite a lot of data. You can imagine how much data they've got and they basically put this into this a website where you can go and research on customer insights, consumer trends, as an example. I'll click on YouTube trends report. And now you're given this article with data around this topic. And this is all written by people who work in Google. Now here's one graph that they provided, 50% increase in average daily views with video variations of beginner in the title. And they also have all these stats. As you can see, 39% of smartphone users are more likely to browse or shop a company or brand's mobile app because it's easier or faster to make a purchase. So all this information may be useful in your research, planning, or if you're preparing some type of keynote. Under tools, they've also got find my audience. This is YouTube specifically, but you can actually select your audience. So let's say in market audiences, choose a category. I'll choose uh, business services, start now. What you'll do then is select the most relevant category based on your industry or your niche. Once you've selected about five categories, you'll then be given this report that YouTube or more like Google compiles, so called YouTube audience profile, and then giving you all this useful and valuable information that may be useful in your marketing. You'll see here, I chose business technology as one of the categories, and these are the top YouTube channels sharing uh, information about it. And we've got mobile uh, phones, business and productivity software. These are the ones that people are shopping for. We've also got people shopping for business technology, also likely to be part of these audiences, avid investors, business professionals, mobile enthusiasts, and value shoppers. Think with Google also provides tests my site where you can actually enter your domain name. So we'll go enter mine, improve your mobile site to boost your business. Google will then provide you the results. So it says mobile page speed is 6.7 seconds on a 4G connection, which is poor. The poor rating is most likely because I'm sharing with other people on Squarespace and that's where dedicated servers come in, which is another separate topic. 
And then it gives you recommendations and suggestions on how to boost your speed and the page speed load. And then you can download a full report to send to your developer or do it yourself if you're tech savvy. But there you go, that's Think With Google. Did you know about this tool or not? Comment below, yes or no. And uh, like this video if you didn't know about Think With Google. The last and final digital marketing tool that you probably didn't know about and one that's specifically for YouTube creators is called Morning Fame. You will need an invitation code to join, which I'll provide in the description below. Once you have that, enter the invite code, join. The first month is free, so it'll give you a good uh, demonstration of how it works and what you can do with it. Morning Fame does work similar to TubeBuddy and VidIQ, but I find the data a bit more accurate than other tools. Here's what the dashboard looks like of Morning Fame. My channel specifically, we've got suggestions such as this video speeding up, it's gotten this many views, average duration, and all these things. So it says many comments for this, and it gives you this all this data so then you can head into the right direction knowing what video worked and what didn't. We can see these ones specifically aren't getting that many views or engagement. This one particularly is speeding up a lot indicating that this is the type of topic or these are the types of topics that I should talk more about and what my audience likes. If I click on strategy, it'll give me recommendations on what to focus on such as views or sometimes it's watch time or engagement or subscribers. And then from there, you can work out what you need to do in order to get more views, watch time, engagement, or subscribers. Looking down below, it says your growth opportunities, and it's basically recommending what videos you should do more of. So it says create more of these. These are all A rated. These are the types of videos I should do more of. Morning Fame also provides a keyword research tool so then you can come up with topics on what to talk about for your next YouTube video. So start with a topic or keyword. I've just entered how to create a YouTube channel and then we're going to move on to the next step. Now it's given me all these E's and F's as a rating and 86 in terms of demand for this topic and key phrase. The results have given me all these E's and F's, but it's recommending a D for all of them and giving me a higher chance of getting my video ranked on YouTube. The number here, the higher the better. And if I click on info, basically it's saying aim for 32 or higher. For this particular key phrase, I wouldn't go for it. So what I will do is find something that's going to give me a higher chance of ranking on YouTube. TubeBuddy and vidIQ are the go-to tools when it comes to keyword research for YouTube but Morning Fame I think is underrated and it is my personal preference also to use Morning Fame. All right, so there you go. Those are the five digital marketing tools that you probably didn't know about. Did you know about any of these tools? Comment below, I'd love to know. If you're learning a new app tool or something new from this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications too, so you don't miss any future videos like this. Thanks so much for watching and while you're here, be sure to stick around to watch these next relevant videos.